There's a little bit of heat at the moment around an American website that has taken images of famous New Zealanders, specifically um, historically accurate Māori images, and putting them on all sorts of all, all sorts of marketable items, such as mobile phone covers, duvets, uh, towels, and shower curtains. Um, it's been seen as incredibly offensive by many Māori, including Hone Harawera. And one of the reasons Hone Harawera uh, has found this particularly offensive is it's actually one of his ancestors being used as an image on one of the shower curtains. Uh, he was asked on One News uh, about the, the, the case as to why this is deemed so offensive to Māori and this is what he said. It's really an insult to Indigenous culture, cultures anywhere to be treated in this way. And I think it's because there's no marketability of, dare I say it, white icons. So they look to the indigenous world for something marketable, something worthwhile looking at. Now, I have to be honest, I don't agree with Hone Harawera on everything he said. The, the comment he made, Dom, about, uh, you know, the uh, white culture or Caucasian mm. culture mm. not having any uh, historical figures worthy of putting on. I mean, I could see, uh, you know, James... Well, he's, he's having a day. Yes, I could see a... James Cook on, yeah, on a show. It would be kitsch. Yeah. But, but that being said... So it's I, all I, kitsch. Yeah, well, you, you know, know I, mean? yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with him on that. Yeah. But that being said, amongst Māori, you know, the, the appearance of Toi Moko, which is um, the shrunken heads, mm. is incredibly sensitive. It's so sensitive that when they're repatriated to Te Papa, media yeah. is not allowed to yeah, film. Yeah, and you see, this is, this is the problem, you see, because uh, the likes of me, I, I, don't get, I don't have an understanding that I don't, I don't really get that. And, uh, and that's not to say that, you know, um, if it causes... If it causes offence to someone, then that's fine. I'm not really easily offended with anything. Do you know what I mean? You could, you'd, have to, you'd have to go really deep to niggle me. Mm. Um, and so I don't have a deep-seated understanding when it comes to being offended. And it seems to me that people are very, very easily offended these days. There's a, there's a culture of offence uh, out there, Pat. You can't deny that. I think it's different when you're talking about issues that have been within a culture for hundreds if not thousands of years. One of, one of yeah. the reasons around the cultural offence to Māori for this, and I'm not speaking on behalf of Māori because I'm not, mm. but one of the reasons is because it's touching the body. Um, you know, I remember at primary school being told, no bums on tables. Yeah, I, I remember that one as well, absolutely. And, pa and, and yeah. part of that was the cultural uh, you know, appropriateness yeah. of it. So that's one of the reasons, apart from anything else to do with, you know, they talk about cultural appropriation, but these are actually famous paintings by an artist called Lindauer as mm. well. Mm. So there's actually a commercial appropriation here See, as well. Yeah, that's the other aspect to it, which is, which is really interesting, because where do you draw the line? Honestly, it's going to get to the point now where you just can't touch anything. It's just going to be bland all round. Well, I don't think you can take someone else's artwork and then sell it as your own. I think that's a pretty well, clear... Well, it's copyright law, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, mean... I think that's pretty clear. But the other thing is this conversation... I, I'm, I, I worked for a long time as a talkback host. Uh, talkback callers tend to be those who are very strongly opinionated. Often that fall maybe more on the right side of politics than left. You probably attest to that, Dom. Depending on what station you listen to, Pat. <laughs> Things like... Um, you said it before, I don't really understand the... Mm. But I think that's the point to then go, OK, what is it? OK, we'll abide to by it. To understand When yeah, I go into an cool. RSA mm. or into a Catholic church, which I haven't for 20 years, but I do, I don't have a problem with wearing a hat. But the appropriate response in those places is to take it off. Mm. So I do. Yeah. I don't go, well, I don't know. Would I'm you do it's not the, my culture. Would you do it in a golf course? Because that's what they make you do in a golf Take course. a hat off. Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. Really? Sticklers. You see? Absolute sticklers. But I take your point. I know what you're saying. It's about understanding. But it's not just understanding. It's 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 what's relative to that culture. I did a bit of research on this because I know what some of the comments are going to be. It's going to be, oh, you know, you know bloody Maori should just get over themselves. Da, da, da. But there are different cultures. Have Do you know that in Iceland there's been um, decisions made around roading because they were going to disturb where the elves lived? I see, there you go. In, in Washington mm. State, mm. there was decisions made around um, around a national park based on what Bigfoot needed. Yeah. And, it, and did, you, did you know, this is true, yeah. that leprechauns yeah. have EU protection. Ah, see? And that's why you've got to love the Irish. But that's the thing. Within each of our own culture, there yeah. are things that everyone else goes, what the hell? That's right. And, and what we need to be able to do is be respectful of that culture. If we know that it's unequivocally offensive, why do we then need to go there? 